Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and once again, it is time for a bench press day. I'm adjusting my accessory work just a little bit today. Again, went back and looked at uh, my different training notes, looked at my vlogs. That's the beauty of tracking every single thing that I do. I can look and see before I hit big PRs. I can look at the weeks beforehand to see what I was doing at any given time. Uh, I can see where my strength goes up a little, where it regresses, different points it's going on with the training. Uh, and, and again, that's the beauty of me documenting every single thing I do. It's the beauty of it. So with the benching today, I didn't go crazy hard. I didn't go hard. I'm really struggling to get enough, uh, enough carbs in. I'm just force feeding carbs right now. And I feel like I am getting leaner. Uh, irrespective of what I do there. Now, granted, it could be a little bit of the supplementation, uh, you know, could be a factor. Uh, and I feel like at this point with my bench, I just have to keep gaining muscle. I have to keep gaining muscle in the right places, which means, again, volume in the right areas, appropriate amounts of volume. And, you know, no matter what I look at in my, my footage and the way the bar moves, I still feel like triceps are always limiting my bench. Because we look at some of these angles, my chest has gotten pretty big. My chest has grown substantially. My arms have too, but it's like triceps. And then I go back and look. Uh, I looked at what was going on in my training when I first hit those 365 pause benches. It's a bunch of JM presses, okay? I've been doing weeks and weeks of JM presses. My triceps were, were definitely strong. So looking at this, I don't think I need the incline bench. And the, the more I look at, the, at all of it with the incline bench, as much as I think it's a great exercise, I really need my pressing to just build my chest. Okay, I need my pressing to build my chest. So I'm gonna come in for a bit, and I like working with 225. Like I've been working with 245, but I'm struggling to hit all my 10s. Occasionally I've done 10 with 255. But what's gonna build pecs? It's gonna be the, the little bit higher reps so I'm like let me just come in do my peak sets work with 225 make sure I get three really good quality sets in and I end up getting like 12 11 and 11 on these pause benching lots of pausing with 225 why it builds the chest we get our heavy work off that peak set everything else needs to just be back in triceps after that okay Because if I come in and I do a peak set of benching like that and then I do lots of volume with pause work with even 225 and I may need to take that up to 245 I might do some phases where I even drop down to the eights again but I've got to get that that volume in right that's just going to continue to build the pecs and then I can focus on triceps after that and as much as I I like the skull crushers which we will continue to do for full tricep development I'm not seeing quite as much bench carryover as I get off the JM press. So really, if you look at it, though, if I need my triceps bigger, I probably need to do both. So I'm going to do both. And that can constitute all of my, my supplemental work. Okay. Uh, but I do need the rowing for my deadlift. I need it for the grips. I need it for the deadlift. So again, the benching felt good here. Uh, this was a, a Pretty quick workout. For those curious, this took me about an hour, just over an hour. A lot of work density, you know, because everything was 10 plus reps other than that one plus set, right? We did a bunch of 10s on the rowing, both types of rows. Uh, benching was all over 10 reps after that. The, the lowest rep set was 11 reps. But again, um, there's guys out there who have big benches I've seen who just do a bunch of volume even with 225. It's fine. The point is, it's the quality volume, getting close to those limit sets. And I might not do that, the 225 long term. I may take it back up heavier. You know, especially if I feel like my triceps keep limiting me, there may be something to going back and trying to hit the eights with the 275. But I think with the 225, let me just try to get limit sets. And they're always going to be hard after that heavy set, no matter what I do. Okay, no matter what I do. But ultimately, I keep feeling like triceps limit me. You know, look at that angle right there. We can tell my triceps are still my weakest muscle in the upper body. Like you can see right there when I'm doing the rows. I mean, I have triceps, but they, they need to be bigger. They absolutely need to be bigger. So what are we going to do here? Got to work them. 
All right, JM presses, this is the style of JM press I was doing when I had that bench really come up. And I noticed my volume work was getting a lot stronger on the benching during that time. So this is what we have to do. Keep building tissue, keep building tissue, keep building tissue. And yeah, I know today's workout that everything's like, people will be like, it was all 11 plus reps for your pressing muscles after the bench. It was, after the peak set. All the back was 10. Uh, the biceps were all like 15 plus. So what did I do there? Three sets of 12 on the JM press, and I'll work that up. I'll work at getting stronger on those. Okay, I'll work at getting stronger on these. Maybe, or I may just pump more reps and work on technique with, with this weight. Because at the end of the day, if reps are going up, we're gaining muscle with any given weight. I mean, I could do that with the bench and the JM press. I could put the two plates on two and then one and just do three challenging sets and start taking them up to the all out limit sets real fast and see if the rep count goes up. We'll gain muscle. But I'm gonna have to keep increasing my carbs. I feel like at this point, um, I'm, I'm losing body fat. I'm trying to gain muscle, but the body fat's going down. And I think a lot of it's the heat, struggling with some of it to get the food in I want. Um, and it's because I'm refusing to really eat fat because I want to keep fat gains minimal while trying to gain muscle. You know, I think that's a good idea for me. That, and it also makes water cuts easy if I'm just carb loaded all the time. And I stay close to weight class, I think it's gonna make it real easy to make weight super easy. But um, I've gotta do the movements that I know give me the best carryover, and it's the JM press. I mean, I, every time I go back, I look. Anytime I've hit big PRs on the close grip bench or the wider grip bench, it's always been the JM press. So I still feel like I need that long head because everyone notices that lack of long head for me. So I will continue to do the skull crushers after, but they're going to be a finishing movement. Uh, these sets were all like 13 to 15. Okay, I'd even drop the weight a hair. It's like, let's just chase that volume after doing the JM presses. Okay, quality volume. It's easy on the joints and the tendons because our heavy work's always gonna come from that peak set. And I feel like I can continue to do almost what I'm doing here and work that way up to that 405. But I do have to continue to get the food in, okay? Um, and so people have asked me why am I, I doing these instead of the power curls? Because I'm doing the rows. I'm doing those standing rows also. And I feel like at a certain point with that and with the good mornings thrown in on the deadlift, squat and deadlift days, um, I just don't know if I want the extra axial loading. Now, I may end up working on back in again anyways, the power curls, because I do like them. I like them a lot, but they're not necessary with the, I've got two different types of rows in my training, both upper body days. At this point, I just need to get full range of motion on the bicep, full range of motion. Uh, get it into the lengthened position and, you know, get tension and a pump on it with, with good challenging limit sets. Uh, on these skull crushers, though, I am doing a rollback now at the bottom, and it makes it harder, and it's forcing me to use a little lighter weight, but I really, really feel that long head light up a lot when I do that. When I do that little bit of rollback to the face, again, the long head gets activated, and, I, and that needs to get bigger. Right, it needs to get bigger. There's my back. You guys can see my back in those. Uh, I haven't been showing that as much lately. So people can see where my back is. Uh, rows are working. You guys saw, of course, the one close up the other day, earlier in the morning. But um, yeah, definitely have back. But at this point, yeah, the training is, is I'm just chasing body composition and hypertrophy. I will thicken my way up to a bigger bench pecs, triceps, and as far as delts go, I, I have pretty good sized delts. You guys can definitely see from some of the angles, they're like right there. You can see that the delt is really capped from that back angle. I'm not worried about my delts. If my rows and my benching get stronger, my delts will grow, okay? I'm not that worried. I'm worried about shoulders. I'm worried about this point, arms. <laughs> I need to just build bigger arms. It's gonna help my benching. It's gonna help my deadlifting. Grip strength for the deadlift triceps for the bench, okay? 
Uh, you know, a lot of people would say, this is really, I guess, this power building. Well, if you guys want to use that term, I've heard some people ask me that, like a couple of my clients are like, really what we do is kind of power building. Yeah, if, if that's the term you want to use. I don't know that that term has an exact meaning. I feel like it's maybe a little bit of just a trendy term that it's hard to define because really it just seems like powerlifting training anyways. But yeah, here's the thing. I'm just going to hypertrophy my way up to bigger numbers. And I think it's going to work. It should work. Uh, and I know my benching was just a little stronger a little bit ago, but also I feel like it's, I just need more tricep. Got to keep building the triceps. Because I run out of work capacity on the triceps on those peak sets. That's what seems to start giving out. JM presses, extensions, we'll get it there. So I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.